Oh, je suis un Yesterday, there was a meeting of the Alliance Partners in which a decision was made that the Opposition Alliance the UPND Alliance and that the president of the UPND Alliance would be President Akainde Ichilema and that President Akainde Ichilema will have the power to appoint his own running mate from anywhere either within UPND wanting my comments or my reaction to what had transpired yesterday. I did allude to the fact that there was no way I could give media statements or indeed answer to the media without being briefed by the people that we had assigned to go to the meeting. Details of all these things, like I said, will be given on Saturday when we have the full central committee. I did refuse to comment on the issue because I do not single-handedly run and make decisions on behalf of NDC. Decisions by NDC are made by the Central Committee. Of course, in the Central Committee, being the chairman of the Central Committee, I have the last say. I have the hammer. Like in any organization, the chairman keeps the hammer. When people debate and in accordance with the outcome of the debate, the chairman says, this is what has been agreed. So I refused to comment. And I said, until when the team that went to attend comes to brief me. The team that went to attend was the Vice President, Mr. Ricky Akafumba, the Secretary General, Mrs. Atanga, Mr. Mumbi, the Presidential Spokesperson, and Dr. Uh, Atanga, husband to Mrs. Atanga and Mr. Franklin Membe. Suffice to state that the only people that are assigned, because in that meeting they said only the president plus one or two. So I only assigned the vice president and Mr. Mumbi, because the Secretary General previously had indicated to me that she had family problems in Solwezi and she was going out. So I did not know that she was even part of that meeting. But when they came, the five of them, I did not mind because they were all members of the Central Committee, although the other three were not given the assignment. When they briefed me, I indicated to them <clears throat> that I've heard what transpired and I directed the Secretary General to call for an agent central committee on Saturday in Luansha at 10 o'clock so that we can throw what was discussed at the Alliance meeting to the members of central committee to make a decision. To my surprise, this morning, we were only informed that there was a press briefing chaired by the vice president of the party and in attendance was the secretary general and also Mr. Mumbi. In short, the same people that went to attend the alliance meeting are the ones who called the press briefing. First and foremost, that press briefing was illegal. 
because the vice president has no powers, even the secretary general, to convene a meeting or a press briefing of the party without the knowledge of the president, who is me. Yes. They have no right to convene a press briefing, to call any meeting without my authority as president. So, Whatever happened there happened, and they have said they have expelled Chishimba Kambwidi as president of NDC. The question is, what constitution did our colleagues use? Our constitution is very clear on how a president can be expelled or hounded out of office. It has to be a full central committee, or 80% of the central committee must convene. The president must be charged with an offense, and that offense must be an offense that is stipulated in our statutes or in our disciplinary code. The president must respond. When the president responds, central committee will sit and deliberate and a decision made. I want to ask my colleagues, with due respect, where did they hold the Central Committee? As you can see here, these are members of the Central Committee from Lusaka. These are Lusaka based. Like I said, we are going to have the Central Committee on Saturday, comprising all the provinces. But for the purpose of this press briefing, I called the Lusaka based members of the Central Committee. Suffice to state that we have consulted with all the provincial chairmen and all the members of Central Committee except these who held the press briefing. I want to appeal to our members to become that no president has been expelled. And you've seen this before. When Yamusenge again expelled me. But was that a legal expulsion? <laughs> People don't learn from history. When you are starting a war, assess the risk. Assess the risk. You cannot be a fluffy dog wanting to bite <coughs> a lion. There must be something wrong with you. You cannot be a fluffy dog, fluffy, nangu sausage dog. Where is Bella? <laughs> and you want to bite the lion. You can't do that. So our friends are in a hurry to achieve what they want to achieve. Members of NDC and countrymen and women, what I have refused, or we have refused, all of us, is it with exception, all of us except those five, is to accept to be in an alliance. How is the NDC going to be swallowed? Our friends have said, we only want an alliance to be called UPND Alliance. Our suggestion was that, look, if we have to stand on one ticket, all of us, from president to the councillor, we may be find a neutral name, say Northwest East Alliance, Zambia Alliance, Opposition Alliance. Then we can all run on one political party. But if we're going to run as UPND, then if you're going to run on UPND, then each political party must be given some constituencies where they are going to field their MPs. That is what is known as an alliance. Yes. An alliance is not a major. You don't take advantage of your friends. You have to respect others also. But I don't want to go into details because we have to discuss this at the Central Committee. And after the Central Committee, by 12 hours on Saturday, we shall announce to the nation the way forward. Because I do not carry the absolute power to decide on behalf of NDC. NDC has got a body which has got the Central Committee. I cannot call nine of these who are here like our colleagues were five and say they have expelled the president. What a joke. But this is what desperation can do to you. My dear brother, 
Mr. Kafumba, please rethink your decision because I feel sorry for you. Like I said, when you are starting a war, assess the risk. Assess the risk. Why will it take me to build a party, suffer for it with one P MP? Then you accept that all oh, this MP now can now come and run on you, as UPND and we lose. For a party to be respected in Zambia, you have to have parliamentary representation. Yes, yes, yes. You already have a member of parliament. Yes. You want to say in the next election you stand on UPND automatically that member of parliament becomes UPND. Yes. Where does it leave NDC? Yes. We are not against the alliance. Not at all. And I heard sentiments, Mr. Tanga saying, Mr. Kambuli told me that I can never ever work with HS. Please, let's learn to be factual and tell the truth. We were 14 political parties. 14 political parties in the alliance. We remained only, I think it's only two. It was only NDC and UPND. The others are individuals. The others are, are, are individuals. We stuck in there because we want this thing to work. But anyway, I don't want to give details today. I just want to assure members countrywide that what Mr. Atanga, uh, what uh, Mr. Akafumba and Mrs. Atanga have done is neither here nor there. They have not expelled me. They cannot expel me. They have no powers. Yes. And if they are not careful, they will expel themselves. Yes. Yes. You see, mm. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. It's very clear. There is no case whatsoever in our disputed court which says when the president and other members refuse to go into an alliance for bad conditions, then they can be expelled. <laughs> God bless Zambia. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why are you